Thomas Terry. Tom. Connolly August 19, 1877, to October 28, 1963, was an American politician, who represented Texas in both the U.S. Senate and the House of Representatives, as a member of the Democratic Party. He served in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1917 to 1929, and in the U.S. Senate from 1929 to 1953. Early life and education Connolly studied at Baylor University and earned his A.B. in 1896. He later attended the University of Texas School of Law, earning his L.L.B. in 1898. While there, Connolly was a close friend of future Governor of Texas Pat Neff and future United States Senator Morris Shepard. After earning his law degree, he enlisted in the 2nd Texas Volunteer Infantry to fight in the Spanish-American War. After the end of the war, he established a law firm in Marlin, Texas, where he worked until his entry into politics. <laughs> <laughs> Political career Connolly ran unopposed and was elected to the Texas House of Representatives in 1900 and 1902. During his tenure in the Texas House he was a prominent opponent of monopolies and co-authored the Texas Antitrust Law of 1903. After 1904, he left state politics to pursue his legal career, and served as the prosecuting attorney for Falls County from 1906 to 1910. In 1916, he made his first foray into national politics by running for the vacant House seat for the 11th Congressional District of Texas. After resigning his office to fight in World War I, Connolly returned to the House where he served on the House Committee on Foreign Affairs and worked against isolationist policies. In 1928, Connolly was elected to the U.S. Senate. During his time in the Senate, he supported Roosevelt's New Deal legislation through the passage of the Connolly Hot Oil Act of 1935, which attempted to circumvent the Supreme Court of the United States' rejection of a key part of New Deal legislation. During most of his tenure in the Senate, Connolly was a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and served as chairman from 1941 to 1947, and 1949 to 1953. As chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, he was instrumental in the ratification of the treaty creating the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. He was also a member and vice chairman of the United Nations Conference on International Organization in 1945 that chartered the United Nations. He authored the noted Connolly Amendment, which amended the U.S. ratification of the UN Charter to bar the International Court of Justice from having jurisdiction over domestic matters, as determined by the United States. On October 20, 1951, when General Mark Wayne Clark was nominated by President Harry Truman to be the U.S. Emissary to the Holy See, Connolly protested against the decision along with other Protestant groups on First Amendment grounds, and Clark later withdrew his nomination on January 13, 1952. In 1953, Connolly retired from the Senate, ending his career in national politics. Role as Chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee In 1943 a confidential analysis by British scholar Isaiah Berlin of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee for the British Government characterized Senator Connolly The Chairman of the Committee, Tom Connolly of Texas, is a very typical, exuberant Southern figure with the appearance and mannerisms of an old-fashioned actor and a gay and hearty manner which conceals lack both of strength and of clear public principles. He is normally the spokesman of the administration and, in particular, of the Department of State. His voting record is that of a straight interventionist. His principal point of deviation from Secretary of State Hull's policies is the subject to which Mr. Hull has dedicated a large portion of his life, namely, the policy of reciprocal trade. Representing as he does, a great cattle breeding state, his enthusiasm for free trade with, e.g., the Argentine, is not ardent. He has been a solid supporter of the department's policies toward, e.g., France and North Africa. His support of its economic policies is regarded as doubtful. On internal issues, he shares all the beliefs and prejudices of the South. During his time in office, Senator Connolly also served as the first delegate from the United States to the United Nations First Committee, known at the time in 1946 as the Political and Security Committee. Meetings of the First Committee were held from October to December 1946 in the village of Lake Success in New York. 
Mr. Connolly was the first to move for the recommendation to the General Assembly to accept the applications of Afghanistan, Iceland, and Sweden, after they had been approved by the Security Council. Personal life Connolly's first wife was Cincinnati Conservatory trained vocalist Louise Clarkson of Marlin, Texas, who died in her husband's Senate office of a sudden heart attack in 1935. The couple had one son, Houston attorney Ben Clarkson Connolly, a U.S. district judge. Connolly later married Lucille Sanderson Shepard, the widow of his former Senate colleague, Morris Shepard of Texarkana, Texas. Topic relatives Senator Connolly's grandson and namesake Tom Connolly was a Houston attorney and partner with Fulbright and Jaworski. His granddaughter Louise Connolly Strong, MD is an internationally respected physician and head of genetics cancer research at MD Anderson Cancer Institute in Houston, Texas. Connolly was the step-grandfather of Lucille's grandson, Connie Mack, III, a Republican U.S. Senator from Florida 1989-2001, and the step-great-grandfather of Mack's son, Connie Mack, IV, former U.S. Representative from Florida. Tom Connolly has been described as a cousin of Texas Governor John B. Connolly, Jr., but John Connolly stated in his autobiography that they were not related. Death Tom Connolly died of pneumonia on October 28, 1963. He is buried in Calvary Cemetery in Marlin, Texas, next to his first wife. <laughs>